Hello blessed friends. Welcome back to Beginner Coloring with Amanda. I am here today with the video tag that everyone has done. Um, I do believe I'm probably one of the few ones that have not done it. Um, I wasn't tagged, but this is a um, video that I really wanted to do. So I just went ahead and done it myself. Um, thanks to Elm Colors, you're the greatest for creating this. Um, definitely enjoy doing it and I hope that you guys enjoy watching it. So we'll go ahead and get started with the artist favorites video. So first on the list was Joanne Basford and I'm going to do it a little different than how everyone else has done it. Let me get the camera moved up. Um, I'm going to show you my favorite page that has been colored tell you a little bit about it and then show you my favorite page of all the books um so i wanted to do a little twist on it compared to how everyone else was doing it so hope you don't mind m colors so um my first page that i'm going to show you is the page that i've colored and it's in the Enchanted Forest. And it is the Dragonfly. And the reason that I picked this as my favorite from one that I colored was it was one of the first videos um, of Julie's passion for coloring color along that I followed that really started me doing color alongs and really advanced my coloring skills. Um, I used Prisma colors on this and I just I love the colors. I love how it came out. Um, so that's my favorite page that's colored from Joanne Bassford. And my favorite page of all of her books and I have all of her books. Um, my favorite page of hers and there's so many they're all so beautiful especially this new book um i really like this one the butterfly and i love the flowers i'm a big flower person but i have to say that my favorite picture is the bee with the flowers um I, th I can just visually can see the colors and the the way that i want to color it um so it's it's definitely my favorite of all of them so next on our list was of course all of our favorite Kirby Rosanna's and I'll be honest with his books it was so hard to choose because I love them all I think all of them has a unique picture to them all of them has a unique story to them um so I I really struggled with this artist finding a favorite picture um, I didn't struggle with the, the favorite one that I have colored because it started, it was my very first color along with Julie's coloring, um, passion for coloring. No, actually this was Country Girl that I colored with. It was, um... My very first ever color along. And I did not know that I could color like this. I did not know that my skill could be that advanced. So it was my definitely my favorite um, page that I colored. I used polychromos, uh, Posca pen, and I did this on 11-4 of last year. So, yeah, this was definitely my favorite 
picture um, that has been colored. I've seen some really pretty pictures of this one, but I haven't colored that one yet. And um, for my favorite um, picture out of all of Kirby Roseanne's books, um, there are, again, so many, but I have to say the picture that I have fell in love with the most that I've not had the um, courage to color because I'm afraid that I'm going to mess it up is the cat um, steampunk. I just love this picture. Um, I'm a big animal person. So the cat was really um, a kicker for me. But I also love steampunk. So I have to say this is the favorite picture of all of his. Um, it was a close toss up though with his new book. Because it's full of animals. And, and again I love animals and anything to do with animals. Um, but I have to go back to this old time favorite. Um, and one of these days, hopefully, I will, um, color it. I know that there is the, um, challenge, the coloring checklist challenge 2.0. And I know one of the, um, things on there is to step outside of your goals and outside of your normal coloring skills and color. So this may just be the page that I color um, for that challenge. So we'll see in the future if it shows up on my feed as one that's colored. So the next one that's on the list is Hannah Carlson. And I have all of her books and all of her books are beautiful. Um, it's very hard to choose a favorite. It's very hard to choose a um, just one book because they're all beautiful um but i did go ahead and pick my favorite page that i've colored of hers and the reason that i picked this page it's a simple page it's not a lot um it's a very simple page compared to some of her books but the reason that i picked this page was it was my very first buddy color with my good friend rita um and I learned a lot from her um, on the Buddy Color. Um, she taught me how to do jewels. And so that is why I picked this page as my favorite page um, that I've colored. And then for my favorite page that is out of all of her books, of course, I went with the Spirit Animal book. And all of them are beautiful, but there's one particular one. It's a double page spread that I absolutely love. And that's this one, the Leopard and the Girl Leopard. Um, I just think that it's beautiful the cat um showing it's you know it, it's like it's breathing out the spirit onto her um so yeah i really like the way that it was um the cat's got its ears pierced and the chain necklaces and then she's got her ears pierced um and her nose pierced and she's got the leopard print and she's got the spike jacket and it's just, it's all beautiful. So this is another page that I've not had the courage to do. Um, but I definitely want to do it um, soon. So yeah. Next up on the list is Maria Troe. Um, and her books are, I love flowers. So her books are absolutely gorgeous um right up my alley with all of her um her books are perfect in every way but there are a few pages that do tend to be my favorite um of course most of them have flowers on them um 
I'm a big sunflower person. As you know, if you're my Facebook friend, I have the sunflower for my image. Um, so, yeah, my favorite picture that I've colored in her book has to be um, the mice on the sunflowers. That was the very first picture that I ever colored in any of her books. And I remember I was so nervous to color this picture because I was so scared I was going to mess up this book. Um, but I'm really happy with the way that it come out. Um, I really am proud of it, being that it was my first page that I colored. So, yeah. So that's my favorite page colored. And then my favorite page of hers, um, of course, has to be one that has flowers in it but it also has animals in it too and I just love the way this little girl looks she's holding this dog she's got the little mouse over in the corner all the butterflies the bees and she's standing behind this wooden door like and it's just the dog's trying to lick her and it's just it a beautiful picture it just melts my heart to see it um, and I think it would be so pretty colored um, so yeah this is my favorite page of Maria Trolle's um, out of all of her books next up is an artist that I actually didn't have any of their books until I bought some books off of Facebook from a lady um, and so I have one of the books of Romantic Country um, it's not a book that I would typically buy um, I, I didn't think it would be a book that I like um, there are some images in this book that I like um, I have not colored in it so I don't have a favorite colored page in it, but I do have a favorite page um, from this book. Uh, I have to say it's from this book because, again, this is the only book that I have of Aries. Um, but the page that I picked as my favorite is uh, this double page spread of the cats and the dogs it has the scottish fold it has the Jawawa, the persian the maine coon which i had a maine coon uh the golden retriever the shih tzu the labrador retriever the beagle uh the somalia the american short hair the manx the toy poodle the scottish terrier um so yeah this is my favorite page of erie um I think it would be really cute colored, especially, you know, if you color each picture a different color and you have a, you, you look at it as each, as an individual page, sort of, instead of doing it together. Um, so, yeah, this is my favorite page out of Erie. So, next up is the list of artists that we can choose um who we like and the ones that we um choose off the list so first up of course i think everyone has picked this one is camilla de Lero. um i have all of her books and i really um enjoy all of the books that she has put out I can't wait till she puts out another one, um, which I'm sure it will be a little while since the Cute and Creepy just came out this past year. Um, but hopefully she'll put out a new one um, before long. But my favorite page, Colored. Um, I know a lot of the pages that I've chosen has been color alongs, but this page was not a color along. This page was a page that I did all by myself. And it really shows um, my advancement in coloring. And I contributed that to the color alongs that I've done. 
Um, so the page that is my favorite is the Black Widow Girl um, because I did this page all by myself. Her hair, the spiders, the coloring, um, all of it was my color scheme and my uh, doings. And it really, I'm so proud of her hair um, because I used to never be able to do hair. And I have finally learned how to do hair. Um, I really like the spider too, but this one shows the advancement of how I've come. And I did use Prismacolors on this, uh, Distressed Crayons, and a Posca pen. So, that is my favorite page colored of Camilla and Lugdereros. And for my favorite page in all of her books is... This cute little girl here. Um, I just think it's so adorable that she has goldfish as ponytail ponies. I think that is just the cutest picture. Um, and I think it would be uh, beautiful colored. I'm not perfectioned or very good yet on fish scales. Or goldfish or fish in general. So that's why I haven't colored this page. Um, but I think it would be very pretty. Um, and I can't wait to color it. Next up on the list that I chose was the mythographic um, images. Is the mythographic series um, I love this series I have all the books I will say that I do tend to like the Fabiano Antonazio um, ones better um, but I, I still enjoy both very well um, but my two favorites that I picked out was the um, Fabiano Antonazio and the first one is the one that I colored, which, as always, it has sunflowers in it. And it's the space scene with the boardwalk going into the um, ocean. Uh, I guess you would say kind of into the ocean or into, I thought it was into space. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. I colored it the very first day that I got the book is the first page that I colored in it and I used um, Arteza pencils, uh, stickles, and a Posca pen. I put stickles in the sky where I made my own stars. You can't really see it that well, um, but that was me um, attempting different mediums. So, yeah, that's my favorite of my completed pages. And then my favorite of the pages of all of the pages together is this moth page. Um, I think it is beautiful. Uh, I love moths and butterflies. And I just think this with the flowers would be so pretty um and i can see these as the pink and green moths the pastel moths that you see in the summertime i think this would be so pretty those colors and then do the flowers like a darker pink or even a purple um, this hibiscus you would want to do probably pink since it would match the moths um but yeah, I think this would be such a beautiful picture color. Now next up, my next three artists are artists that I haven't seen very many people pick them. Um, so I did want to do um, the tag and give them some love because I do think that they're um, beautiful artists as well. 
Um, so the first one that I picked was Millie Murata. Um, I think she has some very beautiful books. Um, she has the same sort of style in all of her books. But all the same, I do think her images are very pretty when you color them. Depending on how you color them, you can do them as individuals. Um, color each piece, each little section as an individual. Or you can do a wash over them and just do the whole picture as a solid color. Um, so I do think that her books um, do produce beautiful pictures. Um, and the picture that I chose out of here is a color along with Julie's passion for coloring um, that I did and I did enjoy it and I did think that it turned out to be a very beautiful picture and that's this one the feathers I used uh, Prisma colors and Posca pen for the white in the background and all the dots um, so yeah, this is um, one of my favorite um, pictures of Millie Murata's. And then my favorite picture of hers is out of the Wildlife Wanders books. Sorry guys, my dogs are barking. Um, the one that I picked for a favorite is the Peacock. The peacock is just a beautiful picture. It has a um, double page spread. Hold on just a second. Okay, they stopped. And I think it would be such a beautiful picture colored. Um, it would take plenty of time, but it would be a beautiful picture. So, I do think that this is my favorite out of all of her books. Um, and I hope to color it one day. The next artist that I chose is another artist. Just a moment. Knock it off. Batty. Sorry, guys. It never seems to fail when I start to film my dogs on a bark. So, the next artist that I chose on the artist favorites list is Molly Harrison. Um, her pictures are so cute, so whimsical, um, so gothic too, on some of them. Um, so, I did enjoy um, picking her as a favorite artist. And the favorite page that I picked... Boobie Colors is, of course, another page that has sunflowers on it. Uh, is this girl with the wings, the tattoo, and the flowers in her hair, and the sunflowers in the background. I think this is a pretty picture that I've colored, um, and I've really enjoyed doing it. And this is the favorite page that I've colored out of her book. And that's out of the big book of fairies. My favorite picture out of all of her books was very hard to pick because they're all so cute. And they're all so um, simple. Not simple, but they're just simple, wholesome pictures. And so they're all very hard to choose, but I did choose out of Whimsical World number four, the Fairies, Mermaids, Animals, Flowers, and Cuteness Galore book. And the page that I chose was this little girl fairy sitting on the daisies with the bees. Um, I think it's just so adorable that here she is. She's flown up and sat right down on a daisy. And the bees are coming down to pollinate, and they don't sting her. They're just looking at her like, hey, what are you doing here? Um, so I do think that this is my favorite page out of her books. And again, that was Molly Harrison. And the last artist that I chose 
Um, I haven't colored any pages out of their books because I'm kind of scared to color any of them because I don't want to mess them up. But the artist, the uh, last artist that I chose was Jade Gideon or Gideon. And I have three of the four books that they've put out. Um, I have the Carnival Escape, Island Escape, Rainforest Escape, and then there's a Thailand Escape that I don't have, but I do hope to get soon. Um, and that's the only one that I don't have in this series. And if you're not familiar with these Jade Gideon books, um, they're watercolor paper. Um, the paper quality is just beautiful. Um, it's very thick paper. And it is made for watercolors. And they have these big, huge, double spread pictures. Um throughout the book as well as single sided pictures but all of them are just they're they're just beautiful um the the pictures that are in this book they're so finely detailed um island escape is a caribbean coloring book so it has all the different things of the caribbeans and um, it, it's just, um, a very beautiful put book as well. Has the cocoa beans and, uh, the houses and the plants. But I have to say that my favorite picture from his, from their books, um, is from the Carnival Escape. It's Go Wild in a Colorful Parade. And the favorite picture that I chose out of this book is, um, it was a close toss-up between the Butterfly Girl, but the one that I chose was the Feathers with the Skull. Um, I really think that this would be such a pretty picture if you do the feathers in rainbow colors. Um, I, I just, I think that it's a beautiful portrait, um. And so that's the page that I picked as my favorite. And this was the artist favorites video recording. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I did do a different take on it than what everyone else had done on it. Um, so I did want to do my favorite pages. Um, and my favorite page that I chose that wasn't colored yet. Um, I did enjoy doing this artist tag. I don't know of anybody that I can tag that hasn't done it except for maybe I don't think Poet Spice has done it yet. So I will tag her um, in the below and I'll list the information in the comments. So if you want to do this um, tag, you can do it as well. Just be sure to tag M Color so that she sees it. Um, but yeah. I really enjoyed doing this. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. If you have, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. There will be a lot of new videos coming out in the next few days. Um, haul videos and supply videos and new coloring book reviews. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get those alerts when I post new videos. Hope that you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. And until the next time, happy coloring.